What is up guys? LP Score looking here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. Yes, we have one one more video. I know, I know, you guys thought it was over, but nope, there, this is the last video, I promise. I promise you. And wow, let's parachute on aggro. No, let's 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 just climb on him. Thank you. Uh, so, this final bonus episode. This is going to be showing off all the items that we unlocked in the time trial mode. Um, or the time attack mode. Basically just going to be showing off the power of every single one of them. And I'm also going to be showing off all the um, unlockable items in normal mode as well as showing off one last secret. Uh, the reason this took about two months um, after the last bonus episode to come up is because this final secret, you have to beat the game several times to access. And I never really just decided to sit down and beat this game three or four times to do so. But anyways, um, what we're going to do is we're going to head down here to the... Second Colossus. Second, because I already beat the first one in this file, apparently. So what I'm going to do, is we're going to use our clo uh, Cloak of Desperation. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. So now we won't take damage on the way down. Makes life a lot easier for us. So, first things first. I'm going to show off... Where is it? Where is it? The Harpoon of Thunder. That's going to be perfect for this fight. Um, fighting Quadratus once again. So come on, Quadratus. Come on out, buddy. I'm going to show the power of it. It does a lot more damage when you actually hit a major sigil with it than a minor sigil. But, we'll try this nonetheless. So, I'm going to try to aim for his... I'm not going to go for his back feet with this. I'm going to go for his four legs. So, let's wait for this guy to rear up. Come on, buddy. Come on. Here we go. Wait for him. Goes. Let's make him do this just right. And ah, I didn't do it correctly. Dang it. Okay, here I'll try the. You know what? I have a better idea. Better idea. Better idea. Don't go for the feet. We'll go for the side sigil. All right. Because he does have one on his side. So stop turning around. All right, here we go. So I can find. Let's see if I can hit the right spot. Yeah, there we go. See how much damage that took off. That does quite a bit, doesn't it? Well, we also have the Queen Sword that I want to show off, okay? Now let's see if we can get this guy in the foot real quick. Wait for him. No, 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 no. There we go. All right, now we're going to get him in the foot. Eh, or we did get him in the foot. Now let's climb up the guy and let's get him with the Queen Sword. And let's show off how much damage this does. Um, something that is should be noted is that the more you... Uh, play the, through this game, the more powerful your sword will become. So it eventually kind of nullifies the effects of the Queen Sword, of, of how strong it is anyway. Um, it just kind of makes it a little pointless after you've beaten it like five times, because then even the regular sword is just as powerful. But, even on the second playthrough, watch what this does. Let's go to the Sigil, and let's flail around a little bit. Come on, Wander. Get into position. Let's show off how much this does. One stab, there goes the sigil. It's awesome. It's awesomely powerful. So that is the queen sword for you. And then all the rest of the um, unlockables we have, we have the cloak of desperation, which basically is able, um, we're able to um, avoid any fall damage with it because it uh, it's like, acts like a parachute. But we also have, um, I'm trying to remember the exact name of it. We have the, sh um, the shaman's cloak with, and the shaman's mask. Okay. Shaman's Mask allows us to do more damage, so even if we don't have the Queen Sword, let's see if I can show off how much damage this does. Alright, here we go. Oh, don't you shake around, buddy. I need to get a stab in on you and show these nice people how much damage I can do to you. Excuse me. Alright. Okay, come on. And... Oh, that's right. The Shaman's Mask does de defense. Never mind. <laughs> Whoops. Oh my gosh, I'm a little. I, I had a little bit of a dirt moment right there. That's right. Shaman's Mask does defense. I totally neglected that. Anyways, a fully charged stab. It will do the amount of damage needed to take out a major sigil with the Queen Sword. No matter what you do, it has to be a fully charged stab, or it won't work. As you can see, it didn't do a fully charged stab, but it still does quite a bit of damage. Anyways. Um, that's pretty much all I have to show in here in hard mode. But now we're going to head back over to normal mode and I'm going to show off some things. So I'll see you in a second.
Okay, so here in normal mode, we're going to have uh, quite a different set of unlockables once we have beaten all of time attack. Um, Cloak of Deception and Mask of Strength I, ha I have um, unchecked. I don't like the Cloak of Deception, honestly, because it means the Colossi don't notice you. And in certain insta instances, you do need them to notice you, like when you're fighting Gaius, for it to actually work. So I actually have that one unchecked. Also the Mask of Strength, because the Mask of Power just one-ups it. It just... This basically doubles your attack power, this quadruples it. Um, Lizard Detection Zone and Fruit Tree Map are the exact same as they are in hard mode. But then we have the Cloak of Force, which also increases your attack, but it's not, um, but it adds on to the Mask of Power's um, damage, because it is a different um, item. You cannot wear the Mask of Strength and the Mask of Power at the same time. Then we have the Whistling Arrow, the Flash, um, and the Flash Arrow, okay? Now I want to show off what those two do. Here's the Whistling Arrow. The Whistling Arrow is designed to get a Colossi's attention, but it does not do damage whatsoever. It has a really, it has a dull point to it. Watch. As you can see, it makes this whistling noise. And also, just, just take a look at how big my grip meter is in this pile. Look at how big it is. Yeah. It's pretty freaking huge. But anyways, now this is my favorite one. This is my favorite unlockable on both normal mode and hard mode, just because of how much fun you can have with this. <laughs> that is the flash arrow. That is the last unlockable you can get in normal time attack mode. You have to beat all 16 colossi in normal time attack mode to get it. This basically does as much as a fully charged stab if it hits a colossus in the major sigil. However, um, it is, shoots a lot slower than the other arrows and it also has a faster reload rate. But it is so powerful. Look at that. Boom! It looks so much more powerful. It was like... Oh my gosh, and you hit a Colossus anywhere and they react really violently. It's just crazy. Like, in fact, I, I just love what happens when you shoot it at the ground next to Wander. Watch this. Boom! <laughs> now, if he falls off a ledge, he won't get stunned. But if you do it on the flat ground like this, he will get stunned. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm not going to show that. Other thing I want to show, though. I'm not going to actually fight a Colossus in this. I do want to show... One last thing, one last secret that is unlocked once you have a grip meter about as large as mine. You're going to need to beat the game at least three and a half times through and while collecting a lot of um, lizard tails. If you don't collect any lizard tails, I think the minimum number of times you need to beat the game is about five. Because in normal mode, um, you do gain grip by defeating Colossi. Hey, aggro, help me out here, buddy. I uh -uh, get over here. I need to get around this t shrine of worship a little quicker. But anyways... Um, you do gain grip a little bit by defeating a Colossi. In hard mode, this is not the case. You can only um, make your grip go up by simply uh, finding Lizard Tails. So, what we're going to want to do, we're going to start right here, and we're going to climb. Okay, sorry about the cut there. Anyways, so, we have a long way to climb, and I mean a long way. So... <laughs> Get comfortable because <laughs> it's going to take a while. Now, you don't want to hesitate while going up here because if you just, if you mess around for even a little bit, you might lose all the grip you have and you'll plummet to your death because when you get high enough, <laughs> yeah, you'll die no matter how, no matter how big your health bar is. So, um, we are going up quite a ways and again, keep in mind, you need a really large grip meter to do this. And there is a specific path you do need to take to get to exactly where I'm going. But this is a very, very cool secret that I could not wait to show off at some point. So, just keep climbing. Look at him. Can you just imagine having that much stamina climbing, or just free climbing something? It's amazing. I mean, and my grip meter isn't all the way isn't completely, I mean, as large as it can get, I promise you this. It is not. It, it can get a lot larger, actually. So what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to climb over to this one. And then... Come on. There we go. Now let's climb over there. This way. <laughs> it's a long way to go. Oh, and, and the grip meter seems to be shrinking fast, but we're only halfway there, so... More than likely, you will be cutting it very close. Alright, now, let's go down. In fact, let's drop a little. 
Be careful, though. You don't want to drop too much. You're going to die. All right. Let's drop a little more. Sweet. Okay, this is exactly where we want to be. Let's keep going. See that column over to the right, on the very right side of the screen? We need to get to that column. Okay. So I'll keep going this way. Alright, sweet. Don't want to miss anything. You gotta just keep climbing the moss. Alright, so let's go over this way. Yeah. I guess, I mean, the last time I climbed this, I had, I mean, I have beaten about six or seven colossi since I last climbed this, so. Uh, I am definitely not gonna cut it as close as I did last time, but. Anyways, regardless. Oh, and I've also gotten a few lizard tails since then, too. Alright, now we're gonna wanna jump back. Let's start climbing up this way. We're almost there, actually. We're almost there. It is quite a ways. And I tell you, once we get to where we need to go, it's pretty amazing. All right. Now, instead of going right, because you can't, you're actually going to want to go left and jump up here. And we want to go this way. And here we are. We've made it to the top. Check it out, guys. This huge bridge. We started out in the... We saw in the opening cutscene that Wander took Agaro across to get into the Shrine of Worship. And we've seen it throughout... Like, pretty much throughout half of the Forbidden Land because of how large it is. This is it. I'll be showing what's at the other end of it in this video. But, no, I'm not going to walk the whole way in normal time, I promise you. But the first thing I want to show off before we do that is up here. This is from the... Ending cutscene, you remember, Mono and Agro walked up this way, and up here is where it ended, where the game came to a close. I want to show you what's up here. And look at our grip meter, still hasn't regenerated completely. Jeez. And here we are. I love this place. This is called the Secret Garden. Secret Garden is basically the paradise that Mono and Agro and the Reborn Wander would spend the rest of their lives. And where eventually it would become a civilization of horned children that would lead to the video game Eco, which I promise I will LP at some point. And this is also the hole that Dorman speaks to us through. Jump down there, you will fall inside. <laughs> For the Shrine of Worship, however, you'll die if you jump down there, so don't try it, no matter what your health bar is. And there's a little canal running through here. The first, I mean, this one's actually got like five deep water, which I always thought found kind of funny. But anyways, there is, now there's, there's one thing in here that I've always, that's really been kind of a disappointment to me. And you go up here, alright, and you look up, you'll see, oh look, stairs, like, you know, I can walk up there, that's awesome. And look, boxes that lead to it. All right, let me climb the boxes. Do, do, do and hey, look, moss that I can grab onto. Nope. Wait, wait, but th there's got to be some way of getting up there. Come on. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, you can't get up there. It's so unfortunate. So unfortunate. Really disappointing. I really wish you could, but you can't, and it sucks. Yeah. <sighs> Whatever. This is still a really, really nice area, and. One last thing that you can find in this area. Oh, and by the way, this has always been. This is always um, I found kind of humorous too. Hey, look! It's like ankle deep water. Oh my gosh! I need to swim in here. <laughs> yeah, it totally looks like it's like ankle deep, and you at a first glance, but no, it's like seven feet deep or something like that. I don't know. But anyways, last thing in this area is that these trees, these trees around here, they all have fruit on them. And you're probably thinking, oh, these trees can just enhance my health even further. You know, they're probably some, like, really special fruit. Well, they are really special fruit, but not in the kind you think. See what happened to my grip and grip meter and health bar? Watch, I'll, I'll, I'll eat another. Excuse me. Okay, watch, watch closely now. Ready? Yep, they decrease your health bar and grip meter. Now you're probably wondering, what's the point in that? 
Well, I guess it just kind of gives a sense of progression. You know, I mean, you could go up here and you can eat all the fruit here, which I'm telling you, there's a ton. Enough to really decrease your grip meter and health bar. Um, you can just decrease it a ton, and then you can just go back to collecting more lizard tails, and then they won't just go to waste and whatnot. So I guess that's kind of the idea behind it. Um, if you don't want to do it, you can just shut off the game and not save, or you can just kill yourself, and then when you retry um, from the last point, you'll have the grip meter and health bar you had before. <laughs> I mean, since your last save, so you won't, you know, it won't be depleted anymore. But anyways, last thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to fast forward it, and I'm going to show the walk across this entire, the entire bridge. Okay, I'm gonna show you what's at the other side. So, <laughs> it's a long way, but I'll see you guys in a bit. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you never take aggro for granted. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, that's such a long way. But regardless. So, this is basically where Wander came in from. This is the exit to the Forbidden Land. Can we go through it? 
No. You can roll, and you just get knocked back. You, you can try to jump, and you just get knocked back. You really can't escape. There's no way. Which I think is kind of cool, like, that they threw that in there, but, yeah. Whatever. Anyways. And did Agro follow us like he usually does? Did he follow us all the way here? He usually does that. Where is he? Agro! There he is. <laughs> well, guys, that's pretty much it. That's the end of it. This is the fi that's the end of the final episode. Shadow of the Colossus is officially over. I... I'm glad you guys enjoyed this LP, to say the least. Or at least few of you did. Because I had fun playing it, obviously. I obviously, I'd love to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus, because I did it twice. But, this is it. This is the end. I'm going to die. <laughs> oh, so close. Well, I guess our horse will have fun eating us. For that, guys... This has been LP Squirtle King, signing off. I'll see you guys in the next one.